Good morning, everyone. Today, we are going to discuss the trigonometric ratios of special angles. Now, what are these special angles? The special angles that we are referring are, we have the 30 degrees, 45 degrees, and 60 degrees angles. Now, these are called special angles because unlike other angles, we can get the value of the trigonometric ratios of these angles without using calculator. So, for today, hindi tayo gagamit ng calculator. The question is, how did we get these values? You are going to notice that the special angles 30 degrees, 45 degrees, and 60 degrees are the angles involved in special right triangle. So here is our special right triangle. This is your 90 degrees. This is 30 degrees. So obviously, this one is 60 degrees. In here, you are just going to use the ratio that we have discussed in quarter 3, the ratio in 30. 60 90 opposite the 30 degrees that is 1 and then opposite the 60 degrees or the longer leg that is square root of 3 and our hypotenuse opposite the right angle is 2 in the same manner in 45 45 90 the ratio will be the legs will be 1 and 1 and our hypotenuse is square root of 2 this is 30 60 90 again the ratio is 1 square root of 3 2 this is 45 45 the ratio is 1 1 square root of 2 now how did we get these values considering the 30 degree angle this is our 30 degrees if we are going to get the sine theta or sine 30 for this case, this is sine 30. Sine that is opposite. Opposite the 30 degrees is 1. And then our hypotenuse is 2. That is what that is why sine 30 is 1 half. And of course, you have cosine 30. Let's have cosine 30. Our acute angle is 30 degrees. So cosine 30. We have here again our 30. It's its adjacent side is square root of 3 and the hypotenuse is 2. That's why we have your square root of 3 over 2. And then we have tangent 30. That's tangent 30. We have the adjacent, the opposite over adjacent. Tama ba? So we have the opposite side that is 1 and then the adjacent side is square root of 3. As you all know, we cannot accept this. We have to rationalize the denominator. So we are going to multiply it by the square root of 3 over square root of 3. That's why we have here square root of 3 and the product of this is 3. That is why tangent 30 is square root of 3 over 3. So basically, lahat ng ibang values dito ay nakuha natin by using the, the ratio of the special right triangle. And if you are going to get the other ratio, suppose you are going to get cosecant, we have cosecant 30, you are just going to get the reciprocal of sine. So one half is reciprocal, obviously, is 2. And then if we are going to get the second 30, you are just going to get the reciprocal. We have 2, I square root of 3 over 2. That will be 2 square root of 3 over 3. Paano nangyaring 2 square root of 3 over 2? 2, 3, I mean, you are going to get the reciprocal, square root of 3 over 2. Reciprocal is 2 over square root of 3. Again, you are going to rationalize the denominator. So, you will be having 2 square root of 3 over 3. And then, obviously, if you are going to get the reciprocal of tangent, this is cotangent, rather, cotangent 30 is equal to square root of 3. How did we get it? Our tangent is square root of 3 over 3. Now, we are going to get the reciprocal. It will become 3 square root of 3. You are going to rationalize, multiply by the square root of 3. So, you have 3 square root of 3 over 3. Maka-cancel yan. So, the answer is square root of 3. Three. Actually, you don't need to memorize all of this, the six trigonometric ratios of this angle. As long as you know, as long as you know the ratio of the special right triangle, you will be able to get the trigonometric ratios of these special angles. I hope you get it. Now let us consider the following example here. Let's have the first one. We have triangle ABC is right angled at C. And if angle A is 45 degrees and side A is 8 centimeters, you are going to find side C. So the first thing that you have to do is you can illustrate the given triangle. So the right angle is C and then you can have A and B. 
then you are going to write the given. So we have here 45 degrees. The other one is side A. Opposite the angle A is your side A. So this is our A and this is 8 centimeter. The other unknown or the unknown is side C. Opposite the angle C is of course the right at uh, the side C and that will be the unknown. So you are going to identify which of the trigonometric ratio you are going to use, of course, by the help of the mnemonic Sokatoa. So in here, what ratio you are going to use? Yes, you are going to use here sine. As illustrated in our figure, opposite the given angle, the given side is opposite the given angle 45, and the unknown is opposite the right angle, which is the hypotenuse. So A is your opposite side, and C is your hypotenuse. We have opposite and hypotenuse, therefore we are going to use sine. So we have here sine theta is equal to the opposite side over the hypotenuse. So we have sine, the given angle is 45, the opposite side is 8, and then the hypotenuse is unknown, which is C. By cross-multiplication, we will be having C sine 45 is equal to 8. And then, of course, the unknown is C. So to be able to solve for C, we are going to divide both sides by sine 45. So we have sine 45 here. This will be canceled out. So C is equal to 8 over sine 45. We are not going to use calculator here because this is special angle. You are just going to get the value of sine 45. And again, what is the value of sine 45? Sine 45 is this one. So we will be having C is equal to 8 over sine 45 is square root of 2 over 2. And in solving this, that is a fraction. The rule is... Of course, you are going to proceed in multiplication after getting the reciprocal of the divisor. And the reciprocal of our divisor is 2 over square root of 2. And then multiplication, numerator to numerator, denominator to denominator, we have 16 over square root of 2. But then again, we need to rationalize the denominator. Multiply by square root of 2 over square root of 2. So we have here 16 square root of 2 over square root of 2 times square root of 2 is 2. And then, of course, we need to simplify. So the value of C is we have here 8 square root of 2. Meron tayong unit. So we have here centimeter. So the value of C is 8 square root of 2 centimeter. I hope you get it. Let us proceed with the next example. This time around, we have triangle DEF, right angle that E, angle D is 60 degrees, side F is 3 square root of 3 centimeters. You are going to find side D. Again, we can illustrate so that you can see clearly what ratio to be used. So we have angle E is the right angle. So you can have D and F anywhere after writing angle E. Then the given is angle D is 60 degrees. So let's have 60 degrees. And then side F is 3 square root of 3. Where is our side F? It is opposite our angle F. So this is our side F. And this is 3 square root of 3. And then the unknown is side D. Opposite the angle D is side D. So this is our side D. And that is the unknown. So again, using our mnemonic, Sokatoa, which ratio you are going to use after illustrating our triangle? Yes, we are going to use here tangent. Because the unknown is opposite the given angle and the other given side is the adjacent side of the given angle. So that's opposite over adjacent. So we will be using here tangent. So we have tangent theta that is opposite over adjacent. Then let us substitute. We have tangent. Our angle is 60. The opposite side is unknown, which is D. And then the adjacent side is given, that is 3 square root of 3. By cross multiplication, we have D equals 3 square root of 3 tangent 60. Again, we are not going to use calculator here since this is a special angle. So we are going to get the value of tangent 60. This is our 60 and here is tangent. So tangent 60 is equal to square root of 3. So tangent 60 is equal to square root of 3. And if we are going to simplify this, we have 3. The product of this is 
3. Therefore, our D is 9 centimeters. The answer is 9 centimeters. Now, let us have the next example. This time around, we have triangle XYZ, right angled at Y. So, let us have a right triangle. The right angle is at Y. So, we can have X and Z here. Given is X, that is 45 degrees, and also is side C, opposite. Si angle C is side C, so here is our side C, that is 3 square root of 3 centimeters. You are going to find Y, opposite the angle Y is side Y, so this is the unknown. So again, which ratio you are going to use in this specific problem? Yes, you are going to use here cosine because z is the adjacent side and then the unknown y is the hypotenuse so we are going to use here cosine theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse substituting the given our angle is 45 the adjacent side is 3 square root of 3 and the unknown is the hypotenuse y cross multiplication we have y Cosine 45 is equal to 3 square root of 3. And again, to find y, that is 3 square root of 3 over cosine 45. We need to get the value of cosine 45. Here is cosine 45. So this is the value. So we have y equals 3 square root of 3 over cosine 45 is square root of 2 over 2. So we have y is equal to 3 square root of 3. Get the reciprocal, so it will become 2 over square root of 2. If we simplify, that is 6 square root of 3 over square root of 2. But you need to rationalize, of course. You multiply it by square root of 2 over square root of 2. If we do that, we have 6 square root of 6, 3 times 2 is 6, over we have here 2. We need to simplify this. So our y is equal to 3 square root of 6. And of course, we have our unit. So we have here centimeters. Now let us proceed with our last example. So dito, dalawa ang nawawala. We have side I and then side G. The given angle is 45 here. So using the figure here, let us get I. If we are going to consider side I, what ratio you are going to use? Is it sine? Is it cosine? Or is it tangent? We have here this angle and this given and this one is the unknown. What ratio you are going to use? Yes, you are going to use here sine because the unknown is the hypotenuse and the given side is opposite the given angle. So we have here sine 45, that is our angle. The opposite side is square root of 2 and then the unknown side is the hypotenuse which is I. So by cross multiplication, we have I sine 45 is equal to square root of 2. So to get I, we have square root of 2 over sine 45. So what is the value of sine 45? We have 45 and then sine. So this will be the value. So we have square root of 2 over sine 45 is square root of 2 over 2. To simplify, we have here square root of 2. Get the reciprocal. The reciprocal is 2 over square root of 2. This can be eliminated or cancelled already. So which will give us the value of y is 2. So we have here i is 2 units. And then, of course, if we are going to look for side G, diba? considering our given angle and the given side, what ratio we are going to use? Yes, we are going to use here tangent because the given side is opposite and the unknown side is the adjacent side of angle 45. So we are going to use here tangent 45 is equal to the opposite side is square root of 2 and then the adjacent side is g cross multiplication we have g tangent 45 is equal to the square root of 2 to get g of course you are going to divide both sides by tangent 45 of course this will be cancelled out so g is equal to the square root of 2 over tangent 45 and what is tangent 45 
Here is our tangent. Here is our 45. So tangent 45 is equal to 1. So we have here 2, square root of 2 rather, over tangent 45 is 1, which means that our g will be square root of 2 units. So these are the examples in trigonometric ratios of special angles. I hope you get it. And once again, thank you for watching.